Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Today we're going to be learning how to do this. So I'm currently watching the only TV station in the UK worth watching, uh, which is Dave. Uh, I'm going to uh, get She That Shall Not Be Named to change some channels, though, so you can see how this works. Uh, actually works incredibly well. Alexa, switch channel to E4 plus 1. Too okay. easy, too easy, too good. Uh, Alexa, switch channel to BBC. Okay. Oh, I just love it. I d this sort of thing just tickles me. It doesn't matter how many times I see it happen, it still feels like I am some kind of magician every time it works. Alexa, switch channel to 4HD. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I've done this with a whole bunch of TV stations, and it, it took me ages, but it won't take you ages, because I'm going to show you how to do it now. Awesome. If you're new to my channel, you're going to need one of these. Uh, don't go anywhere. I can see you immediately going, I don't want to spend any money. Uh, this is only £18 and is absolutely the cheapest way of sending infrared frequencies using Alexa. Uh, if you have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I am not Broadlink's biggest fan right now because this product that they also do sucks right now. Uh, they have released this same product over and over and over and it always just does the same thing. It can fire infrared or RF. Uh, but each time they release a new version of it, it becomes more difficult for third-party applications to control it. Uh, and you can see me ranting about it here or here. I can never remember which side it is, and I go to do editing for the video and I'm furious with myself for pointing to the wrong side. There's a pop-up somewhere here to me ranting uh, about Broadlink and how they suck right now. Uh, but anyway, get me away from all of this. Alexa, please take me somewhere where Broadlink can't upset me anymore. Okay. That's right, I got a green screen. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. This is how to control your TV channels uh, using one of these. Enjoy. First thing we're going to do then is open up the IHC app, so you will have already have downloaded this from the Play Store. If you haven't, do so. Um, I've already put my Broadlink RM Pro into it as well, so uh, you'll have to do that. Uh, just follow the instructions, it's super easy. Um, so I've just clicked on it and I'm going to go to TV. So you'll see you've got an option here for set top box. Uh, Broadlink are jerks and set top box does not work. Your area is not yet supported. Hmm, leave my area alone, Broadlink. Uh, TV, however, does work, and uh, we're going to lie to Broadlink and tell them that this is a TV, when in fact what we're going to control is my Virgin Box. Uh, you could control your Skybox with this, or basically any cable box. All we're going to do is we're going to reprogram this television's buttons to be whatever the associated buttons are on our Virgin Remote, or our Sky Remote, or our whatever remote. Now, a quick point of note, if you're a Sky user, uh, you've probably been given a stupid remote. You've been given a Bluetooth remote uh, which you won't be able to train the Broadlink with, which is super annoying. Um, basically, Sky's boxes do have the ability to receive both Bluetooth and infrared, uh, but they supply you with a Bluetooth remote. You'll need to get hold of a Sky infrared remote so that you can program the Broadlink RM Pro to fire the infrared signal to your receiver. Anyway, um, you can pick any of these TVs. I'm going to pick Acura, uh, just because it's the first one on the list, and I'm lazy. And I'm going to say, yes, my TV has been turned off. I'm going to press that button. I'm going to say, yes, it responded. I'm going to press that button, say, yes, it responded, etc., etc., because we're just skipping our way through it so that we can create a remote that we can then lie to. Uh, so currently it's telling me the TV uh, is device name is TV. Uh, we're going to change that um, for whatever you want. So you could put in Virgin. Um, what this means is when you want to get Alexa to control uh, your TV or your whatever, you're going to say, Alexa, change channel uh, to BBC One on Virgin. Um, if we put in Virgin here, um, I'm going to use TV because it's shorter. Um, so we can say uh, change channel on TV. Uh, you won't need to say on TV once the activity begins, so that is the magic of using a proper skill 
uh, over and above using the Broadlink RM plugin that I've shown people in my previous videos. Uh, using the proper skill, uh, as soon as you say switch the TV on or switch the Virgin on or switch the whatever on, it starts the activity. And then using the words uh, switch channel to Dave, she knows that you're talking about the TV because you've started an activity. Uh, so I'm going to use the word TV. I'm going to press done. Uh, and then we have to skip our way through this. So I'm going to say skip, 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 skip. No prompt. Um, so now we have a TV remote which is completely blank. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to press the menu button up here, the three dots, and I'm going to go to learn. And all we do is we overwrite the things that we're interested in. Uh, so if we want to be able to switch our Virgin Box on and off, uh, you're going to press learn again alongside the on off button and then press the on button on your Virgin Remote uh, or the on off toggle button on your Virgin Remote um, so that when you say switch Virgin on, she will send the on off toggle to the Virgin Box to switch it on. Um, we do need to, of course, then uh, configure the number buttons because what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a channel system which, of course, is reliant on the numbers being pressed. Um, so the RM Pro needs to know how to send those numbers uh, to your Virgin Box or your Skybox or your whatever. So I'm going to press Learn again alongside zero. It's now waiting to learn. And if I press the zero button on my remote, the RM Pro learns that button. Um, and then it will say it successfully learned that button. I'll then do the same thing for one, learn the button, same thing for two. Uh, once you've uh, got all your numbers programmed in and your power button, you can just press save. Uh, and then this is the, uh, the final piece of the puzzle. If you go to the channel button, bottom right, you can, you'll find you've got a demo in there. You can use the edit button to get rid of demo because we don't want that. And all you do is you add your favorite channels. So if I uh, click the plus button here, I can name that one. You can now search for a channel. You pr unless you're in the country uh, that, that these guys are from, then you're not going to be able to find it, I shouldn't imagine. So you need to click, I cannot find the TV channel I want. And then up here, you need to program in very specific things that the finicky little cow doesn't get moddy about. Um, and I'll explain more on that shortly. Uh, so I'm going to put in BBC HD, uh, and then I'm going to say I need to dial 108 when I say BBC HD, and then press save. So I now have a button, and if I press that button, uh, the RM Pro fires off 108. But more importantly, if I now get Alexa to scan for devices, she'll find one called TV, because I, I called this TV. Uh, and when she finds TV, she'll know how to dial the buttons for the numbers, um, but she'll also know how to uh, send the request for the channel based on the name BBC HD. Um, and once she's found the TV as a device, uh, you can then add as many channels as you like. So I could get Alexa to scan for devices now. She'll find uh, the TV, and then I can add the buttons in afterwards if I want to. Um, so I'm going to add just one more here, and we'll call this one Dave. So I now have BBC HD and Dave as shortcuts in my channel list. So these exist in the little CH button at the bottom here. And I can press them to get it to dial the number up, or I can say, Alexa, switch the channel to Dave, and she'll dial 127 for me. So when you're finished, you should have a list that looks a little bit something like this, uh, names with numbers. Uh, she is a finicky little cow when it comes to naming these, I have to say. If you use the word channel, she poops her pants. Um, so that's a bit of a problem for us in the UK because one of our primary channels is channel four. Uh, so that's a real pain. Um, I've used 4HD uh, and that is logical and fair because they do call themselves 4HD if you're watching the HD version of Channel 4. Um, so that's not such a massive issue, but you're probably going to find you've got a few little weird kinks to work around. Um, if, for example, I put a space between H and D, it doesn't work. Uh, if I put 4HD with no spaces, it doesn't work. Um, if I use F-O-U-R, it doesn't work. Uh, I had to write it exactly like that. And yet, if I want to do E4 plus 1, if I use the number 4, it doesn't work. But if I use the word 4, it does. So I've worked my way around the um, probably the most likely channels that you're going to be interested in for you, so you don't have to suffer like I did. Uh, so all of these are in the description for the video. I, I would suggest you use them exactly as I've written them, and then you won't go through the same pain I did. Uh, so finicky little cow Alexa has been resolved by my endless 
afternoon on Sunday of figuring out what names she would actually accept. Um, lucky you, lucky you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support my channel, there are links to my Patreon and my PayPal in the description. Whichever is your poison, pick one and give me money. I'll see you next time. So if you're new to my channel, you won't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's try that again. Basically, the situation is that they have a... Uh, that's scuppers. <laughs> Today we're going to be learning how to do this. You. Well, actually, I am in my room. I'm just in my room in front of a green screen. Uh, the reason for my grumpiness is that Broadlink have... That's about right. That is exactly what they have done.